What's up guys, this is Old Man Wags here with Atlantic Pressure Washers. We are showing you our latest trailer install. Some of the features of this are an eight gallon a minute hot water skid. We have a 15 gallon a minute diaphragm setup that runs off of an air compressor. We are set up currently with a 425 gallon water tank as well as a 100 gallon DOT approved chemical tank. The other features of this are a metal toolbox that we threw on the front, our air compressor on the back, and our triple hose stack reel on the side of it. So let's go ahead and focus on everything. We'll take a walk around the trailer and give you guys a general overview. Starting with the very front of the tongue, we have our toolbox. We started including these on a lot of our builds and installs because there's never enough spaces to put all your crap as a contractor. So this just helps you stay a little more organized, put some things up here that don't need to get wet, stay wet, easy place to put gallon jugs, that kind of stuff, extra hoses, and some minor accessories. Right behind that, what we're looking at is an eight gallon a minute at 3,500 hot water skid. This is a uh, Honda GX690 that powers a general pump TSF 2021. That does boast a true eight gallons a minute. Under certain circumstances, you can gear that to get eight and a half gallons a minute. On the side of that, we have our 12 volt burner. That basically, it can cook the water up to 125 degree heat rise above the inlet water temperature. When we were in our test scenario in the back, we were able to get this up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is great considering the amount of accessories that we've loaded onto this. And we'll talk about that more in a second. Right on the back of our hot water skid, we've mounted flush our four rod lance holder. Basically, we have a 48 inch lance, a 36 inch lance, and a 12 inch lance. Along with that, we also have a slot for our chem gun. That is another 12 inch lance that's exclusive for the diaphragm setup. You'll notice that right behind this, we do have our 100 gallon DOT approved chemical tank. That is a great size for what this contractor is doing. Right behind that, we have a 425 gallon water tank exclusively for water. The reason we picked this tank is after we added up the weight of the rest of the trailer, this was all we had room for on our payload. Let's keep on walking back. Next thing we'll talk about is our customer supplied air compressor. This is a small GX 160, but it can pack a lot of power behind it. it does about 10 CFM and powers our air diaphragm pump, which is on the other side of the trailer. You'll notice if we look right up this side, there is hardly anything here giving you lots of storage if you need to store different buckets or different accessories. Again, storage is key. You never have too much room for all your stuff. Pulling off the back of the trailer, if you'll notice the way we are set up, all of our plumbing runs along the driver's side or the left side of the vehicle. Our hose stack, which we'll talk about, we have 200 feet of three quarter inch contractor grade garden hose. Right above that, we have 500 feet of three eighths inch gray non-marking hose. And above that, we have 300 feet of half inch ag hose, which runs off of our diaphragm pump. Our water hose, of course, feeds our water tank. Our high pressure system is run completely off of this. Everything's pretty much hard plumbed with the exception of the 100 foot increments of the hoses. So you can pull off, get started working right away because this contractor is primarily focusing on high pressure washing. After that, we have our soap line, which like I said, that's connected to our diaphragm pump, which is tucked away in our last corner. So let's keep on walking, see what else we can see. Coming up this side, this is where all of our plumbing is run and organized. This would be considered the working side of the trailer. So we wanted easy access to our drain line right here so that our water can go right down the back. We have access to turning on our water tank to flush out our diaphragm pump. We have access to our water line and our filters for running to not only our diaphragm pump, but also our eight gallon a minute hot water skid. In addition to that, we have our three-way valve, which allows our diaphragm pump to pull either from our water tank or from our chemical buffer tank, depending on what application we're actually doing. Whether he's just using this to rinse, pulling off the water tank, flush out the pump, that's good for that. But if he's using the dedicated solution that he plans on in there, again, all he has to do is change that three-way valve right here, like so, and he can switch between the two tanks. Very simple, very straightforward. The way we've set this up is that the contractor can do basically two types of washing. The only thing this contractor was interested in was going out the loading docks, spraying down his concentrated solution, hence no need for a metering setup or portioning system. He just has his uh, dedicated tank for a chemical. He's gonna be applying that directly to the surface. It's gonna sit for about 20 minutes or so. He's gonna come right back with as much force as possible, clean off that loading dock, and basically he will be good to go. Uh, we've timed this in the back. We were able to clean a loading dock in about eight or nine minutes, which means that if he's doing an entire strip mall of them, it can basically be easy money throughout the entire business park. And again, that was his only goal in focusing on this. Let's talk about some of the other things that he has set up for. Our chemical pump, as well as our 
uh, pressure washer. Because of the high flow rate, they're able to wash about 40 feet from the ground, meaning that if he was ever to take on a job where he cleans a vertical surface, say some sort of a hotel, some sort of a larger home where he just truly needs to atomize chemical and get it that high up in the air, he's able to do so with this system with minor tweaking and just basically filling his chemical tank up with a different solution. Um, we're going to release this to the customer tomorrow and see what he thinks. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Atlantic Pressure Washers. Don't forget to turn the water on.